Hello, welcome or welcome back. I'm stepping in to replace him. He can't even handle the basics. I cover all of the bases. Make you make all of them faces. You're nothing shy of my favor. Girl, I knew he fucked up. I've been waiting. So, we're gonna do another update, pregnancy update. And this one is going to be 12, <clears throat> 12 to 20 weeks. Today, I'm actually 21 weeks. Um, but we're just gonna do 12 to 20 because that's what I made notes for. So we're gonna do positive negatives and then tips for like your first trimester basically. So your first zero to like 12 weeks because I don't really have, I have tips for what I got used to get through that time period. And then, so when I do my next update, I'll have tips for 12 to 20 weeks if that makes sense so anyways let's just let's do the negatives of this time period first so <clears throat> the first negative is my skin started going haywire um i'm so it's not as bad as it's actually it's still pretty freaking bad but it's mostly just like this area and then i, I have some on my forehead too but acne <clears throat> is like, it's gone insane since this, I don't know, probably last like five weeks. Like my skin has been so bad. Um, so then another negative, obviously you start to gain weight. So you become a little bit more uncomfortable. Like bending over is like, doesn't feel the same as it did before. It's kind of uncomfortable. Um, but I haven't really gained that much weight. So I'm not super uncomfortable or anything. Just certain movements are uncomfy. Um, oh, and then <laughs> I got, because if you don't know, getting yeast infections is like super common during pregnancy. And I got my first one and it was freaking miserable. Um, but I just used Monistat 7 and it was gone in a week. <clears throat> Another negative is like it's really kind of hard Maybe not for everybody, but me personally, I was into working out before getting pregnant. So it's kind of hard to accept your new body. I feel like that's one of the hardest things um, so far. And then my last negative, and then we're going to get into the positives, is uh, this is really not... Everybody like thinks it's like butterflies and friggin' rainbows. Um... I don't really enjoy this experience like I'm not having fun but maybe like I mean I, I'm excited to meet my daughter when she's finally here but I'm done sharing my body it's uncomfortable you're just limited with everything you do if that I don't know I'm just not having fun I don't know if I would do this again that's all that's all my negatives so let's get into the positives um so we've Found out the gender. We're having a little girl. I don't know if I'm going to say. I've said the name on other social media platforms, but I don't know if I'm going to say the name on here yet. Not that you really care that much, but we found out the gender and we're having a girl. So that was exciting because I wanted a girl. I wanted a healthy baby, but I wanted a girl. So. Uh, oh, and then we went to like a ultrasound and <clears throat> the ultrasound that they they gave us a gender. Well, we did a gender reveal, so it was like in a sealed envelope. But we got a bear and her heart beats in the bear. So when you squeeze it, you hear her little heartbeat. And it's in the bear. And it's so cute. Anyways, so that was a positive. That has nothing to do with other people's pregnancy, but that was exciting for me. Um, but the 12 to 20 week period is when you find out the gender. So that's fun um another positive I can finally eat again because if you remember if you watch my other previous video which I'll link down below if you haven't watched it um I couldn't eat anything I had to mentally prepare to eat whatever I wanted or not wanted I couldn't eat whatever I wanted it was whatever I could stomach that moment um but now I can eat whatever I want again uh yeah I don't have any cravings though 
and another thing I think I said I was extremely tired for the first trimester basically I have a lot of energy back not a lot let me take that back I'm still tired but I have a lot more energy I can get, actually get out of the bed in the morning and go do what I need to get done um, so I'm like back to working full-time I'm about to start school that will be a whole nother video because I'm going to nursing school while pregnant so that could be a whole series in itself because how are we gonna make it through I don't know but we're gonna do it um, I think I put this as a positive I don't have any cravings so because I don't have any cravings I'm not like eating an absurd amount and have to like control myself or like wanting in the middle of the night I don't wake up wanting freaking I don't know pickles and whatever weird pe stuff people eat with pickles when they're pregnant oh uh, so I don't have cravings I, I put that as a positive because I think it makes it a little bit easier for me I'm not sure um and then like I said my skin's starting to get a little bit better even though it doesn't really look that great but around 20 weeks my skin started to get a little bit better but I feel like we're going backwards again I'm not really sure but we'll see um and then another positive is I'm still able to work out even though I haven't worked out for the last like week and a few days because I was sick for all last week so I didn't want to work out I could have worked could have worked out because I had kind of had the energy to still work out but I didn't want to because I wanted to let my body rest and recover as much as possible so I didn't and then I was gonna work out today but I had to get blood drawn and you're not supposed to get workout after you get blood drawn so and I we'll see I don't know when I'm gonna start working out again but I'm still able to and I've been before I got sick I've been able to work out pretty consistently I, actually really consistently I was working out five days a week um, so tips for your first trimester your first your zero to 12 week time time period so if you have morning sickness one of the best things well, that helped me the most was peppermint peppermint everything I put peppermint in my like essential oil diffuser helped I would eat like peppermint candy that helped you could probably drink peppermint tea too um, I'll put the the actual peppermint candies that I ate on the screen like right here if I remember how to do that I don't know um, yeah so peppermint helped a lot with the nausea uh, I would just be eating peppermint candies like all day long um, I don't know what they're called I want to say they're called the lifesaver brand but that could be wrong um, so yeah peppermint essential oils and then also the peppermint candy and then I also took B complex for my nausea as well which I've also heard can be not good for pregnant people I'm not sure so ask your ask your OBGYN because I'm not a doctor um, also invest in a pregnancy pillow towards I mean not obviously not the first like month you don't really need it but towards the end of my like around I don't know 10 to 12 weeks I started not being able to sleep very comfortably and I probably had a pregnancy pillow now for like the last like three weeks and my sleep has improved so much so yeah invest in a pregnancy pregnancy pillow because it's like the best thing ever I can link the one that I have that I got from Amazon it was like $50 I'll link it down below um, let's see what else do I have for tips oh Gatorade and ginger ale those are like the only two drinks other than water that I would drink and my Gatorade first of all it had to be orange Gatorade because I couldn't stomach any other Gatorade but ginger ale because I was constant I constantly had like gas in my stomach because I wasn't eating consistently so ginger ale helped me burp a lot and then Gatorade to keep like I don't know electrolytes because I wasn't eating anything so needed some sort of nutrition um, and I think the biggest tip of all is having proper support because this shit ain't easy. It's kind of hard and you really need to be supported. I, I think that's honestly like the biggest thing. Don't, if you're planning 
uh, a lot of people don't really plan well actually I don't know I'm not really sure if you're planning to get pregnant make sure your support your support system is in order you can't do it without support that's all um yeah so that's basically it for 12 to 20 weeks but um I can make like a separate video than this of like all the stuff that I have been using up until this point like pregnancy related like body oils body washes body scrubs um like vitamins uh like how I said the whole peppermint thing like what I use to get through um the types of clothing I've been wearing because that's been a struggle figuring out what to wear um because yeah your body's changing you have to change how you dress uh so yeah oh so yeah I can make a separate video on like things things that are helping me through pregnancy I can also make a video what's on my registry because I started making my registry or my registries are already made I mean I add stuff every now and then but I already have my Amazon and my Target registry because we're actually going to Alabama this weekend because um, my boyfriend's mom is throwing us a baby shower there because that's where his he's from and his family live so we're having two baby showers one in Alabama and then one in Florida so I can do a separate video of what's on my registry and I could also do like a pregnancy like nighttime routine because that's when I do most of my my things because in the morning it's get up and go gotta go to work um so I don't do like a lot in the morning but I could do a nighttime routine that would be fun but yep that's 12 to 20 weeks that's the update oh I'll show you my stomach I just ate, so don't come for me. Don't tell me my stomach's small, smaller than average. It, or, you know, everybody's different, so leave me alone. My doctor said I'm healthy. You're not my doctor. That's all. Okay. Um, yep. I got a shot today. Okay, that's all. I love you. Come again. This lighting's going because it's getting dark outside. I love you all. We'll talk again. 21 weeks to... I don't know when the next update will be. We'll figure that out. And we'll see you then. Okay, I love you. Bye.